this little molecule here, this is galaxolide. Galaxolide, um, this here, it's a very common material used in perfumery. Um, and it's a white, it's classified as a white musk by human beings. So this is a human created product. So basically, the uh, question is, what, what is white musks? Um, I'll give you an example of uh, white musks. Take a uh, fabric softener, um, like the sheets uh, you throw into the laundry, um, you make the laundry smell good and make the laundry really soft. Those fabric softener sheets, those are loaded, loaded, loaded with tons and tons of white musks. Basically, uh, white musks, they smell like fresh, clean laundry, um, and that is, uh, generally speaking, this is what galaxolide, G-A-L-A-X-O-L-I-D-E, smells like, galaxolide smells like. Um, I have some galaxolide here on my arm, and to me, uh, personally, galaxolide is very, very weak. Um, it's just as uh, soft as um, uh, Hedione, for example. And um, it smells like a very, very light sandalwood and baby skin and slightly powdery. So if you know what sandalwood smells like, it's maybe one-tenth the strength of sandalwood, a little, little, little bit of baby powder um, and fresh laundry. So it's quite a pleasant smell. Okay, question, question. What is the purpose of white musks. Well, there's basically three purposes, or I've broken down white musks into three purposes. Uh, white musks, um, first of all, uh, many of them are base notes, so they last a very long time. They're um, large molecules, and uh, they are used in perfumes as this heavy material. They don't actually smell heavy. They're not. They're not very strong. Um, but they're, they're literally a heavy molecule, so they slow down the evaporation rate of other materials. So if you take like um, lemon oil, for example, or bergamot, or any citrus, and you put it on a testing strip, you put a little bit of lemon oil onto a testing strip, and, and, and you come back an hour or two hours later, uh, basically it's gone right? This is a top note, right? Citrus notes are top notes. But if you mix that with a little bit of galaxolide and you come back two or three hours later, um, the lemon um, notes or the citrus notes will uh, still be present. So number one, um, galaxolide helps perfumes last longer. Um, and white musks, basically, they help um, perfumes last longer. Uh, the second reason peop, uh, perfumers use white musks is that they help, um, they're kind of transparent and, and, and they help blend together um, the top notes, for example, citrus notes with floral notes in the middle and then maybe woody or vanilla notes um, towards the bottom uh, or earthy notes towards the bottom. So uh, these um, uh, heavy, clear, transparent molecules, they have like... Um, this kind of blending effect. The way I think about white, white musks is, is, is this. They, they do tend to smell waxy. So imagine you made a, um, a drawing with a crayon and, and then you use a clear waxy crayon and, and, and you paint this over, um, for example, uh, you know, blue, green, and yellow, and you, and you paint uh, a clear wax over it, it's going to help blend the colors into each other. So um, galaxolide has this sort of waxing or powdery blending effect. Um, to perfumes. And the third reason um, perfumers use uh, musks is that uh, these white musks, um, if you smell them, they, they do smell like um, uh, human skin in a way, um, uh, or they have facets um, and they, uh, they smell like um, um, clean laundry or clean human skin. Um, they remind people of, of soap or, or just having taken a shower. So uh, 
when a perfume is fully draw, uh, dry on, on, on a human being's body, um, what's left over is often uh, various base notes, including the musks. And because the musks smell similar to human skin, uh, they help the perfume. Um, they create what you call skin, uh, skin notes or skin accords, and they help uh, a perfume match and bond with the natural scent of, of a person's skin. So um, it's uh, white musks have a harmonizing effect to um, uh, to to the dry down to the base notes. Okay. There is a problem with galaxolide, um, but please don't take this the wrong way. Don't I, I, I don't mean to, to suggest that the material is harmful to people. Um, first of all, human beings, millions, hundreds of millions of people use galaxolide in uh, their perfumes and in their um, uh, fabric softeners as well as um, washing detergents. Galaxolide is in hairspray, it's in makeup, it's in ma basically every... Um, everything we put in our hair, everything we wash our face with, it's in detergents, it's, it's in everything. So the problem with galaxolide is that it t does tend to last a long time um, in the environment. And the second problem is that tiny, tiny little microorganisms don't really like it. Um, I'm not sure if it actually kills microorganisms uh, or just sort of messes with them. So uh, these large companies, um, these uh, companies like International Fragrance and Flavors, uh, they're the first ones to come along and sort of um, try to transition and make newer, safer molecules. Again, you can probably bathe in pure galaxolide. Uh, every day for the rest of your life and I'm pretty sure nothing bad is going to happen to you but when you have hundreds of millions of people using it around the planet and then they take showers and they wash their clothes and it goes into the environment and it stays there it can affect the tiny tiny little microorganisms so this is the problem with galaxolide um, uh, I don't think it's a perfume problem. I think it's that uh, galaxolide, you know, perfumes make up like 0.000001% of all human materials spilled out into the environment. Um, regardless, international um, uh, flavors, uh, uh, fragrances and f flavors, the company that makes it, they are uh, making um, less harmful materials. Okay. Uh, galaxolide is uh, often very difficult to smell on its own. It's very light, right? It lasts a very long time, but it's very light. And if you take galaxolide, okay, um, and you mix it with hedione, I did a video on that, and if you mix it with a powdery material called methyl ionone, and as well as iso E super, a woody material, I did a video on that, um, basically hedione, galaxolide, ionones and iso e super these four put together as a single accord in roughly equal uh parts this is called the the hug me accord and it was made by um a mrs grossman one of the most important perfumers in the last you know 40 years um and this this hug hug me accord i'll do i'll do a video on it later on um and it's used in lots and lots of perfumes anyways uh, galaxolide, uh, very, very, very soft, sandalwood smelling uh, material, nearly transparent, lasts a long time. It will help blend all the materials in your perfume together. It will help your materials last longer. Um, it's got this cushioning soft effect, a uh, little bit waxy, a little bit powdery. It's a fantastic material. It's safe okay um you might be allergic to it but some people are allergic to eggs and peanuts uh i have to do a video on 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 the safety of these materials they're very very safe um anyways uh be awesome and over and out from vancouver uh buy galaxolide and use it it will make your perfume smell better